Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've got another What's in the Box. Now before we get into this week's, um, if you remember last week I had a couple of coins from both the Royal Mint and Westminster. Both exactly the same coin, which was the latest in the James Bond series, uh, Bond of the 80s. Now I have noticed um, the Royal Mint one, I did actually sign up to like a free postage one, but it came to £15.50 in total. Whereas the Westminster one, we've got uh, 12 99 for the coin and then 2 99 for the postage and packing, which was £15.98. So it's actually more than the Royal Mint. And the Royal Mint was in a, in a brilliant uncirculated pack, whereas the Westminster one was just the coin and the blue card. But before we get any further, uh, there's something I've noticed on New Mister, so I'll uh, pop over there now. So I've just nipped over to uh, the New Mister page for the Two Pound Technologies. Now it has been well documented that in 1999 there was not any BU or proof coins issued. There was only one issue for circulation of 33,719,000. That's because the Rugby World Cup took the place in the sets. So the best quality one you can get is from circulation. But uh, something else I've noticed this week, even though I've been doing this uh, coin run for well over four years now, that in 2006, well, we've got 16,715,000 issuing for circulation. Again, there was no BU version. So unless you fork out pro for a proof set or a proof coin, the best quality one you're going to be able to get is only from circulation. Because obviously in 2006 we had the, the Brunel double, the Brunel portrait and the Brunel achievements, the arches at Paddington Station. Now the following year we had exactly the same thing happen. So circulation, 10,270,000, so it's a lot le less than uh, the 2006 version. But coming across here, there was no BU, only issued in proof. So again, if you wanted a good quality one for all your date run, it's going to be either a proof coin or from one from circulation. Because we had the uh, the abolition of the slave trade and the act of union, which took the place in the BU packs. Yeah, that was something rather interesting. I, I hadn't realised that at all. Uh, right, getting into coins this week. Um, now I've, I've already opened this one. Now, as you can see, the envelope is fine. However. The coin inside, the latest one that we've received from uh, Change Checker, as you can see, it's got that big crease at the top. And this is the uh, the RNLI coin, celebrating 200 years of the Royal National Lifeboat Institution uh, that was founded in 1824. Got the obverse there by Martin Jennings. So I honestly don't know what we're going to be doing about this. I don't know whether I should put a complaint in because it's it's not uh, the first time, it's not the second time. It's it's probably about the sixth time this has happened where I've had a big crease at the top, and I know other coin uh, collectors are having exactly the same problem. So I don't know whether a strong email to. Uh, Westminster might do the trick. Now, I've also made a purchase um, online through eBay, um, which has arrived, and I haven't opened this yet, so I'm, I'm hoping everything is tickety-boo. Um, just hide my address because it has got some nice uh, stamps on the, the front. Now, uh, 
a little bit of a guess the coin was from 2004 and is a five pound coin originally priced up at um, eight pound and fifty pence and I, I just had a had a look at it and um, I thought oh, I'll, I'll save it anyway within sort of 24 hours I received a price of uh, 10% discount so £7.65 and it was free postage and it's the 2004 uh, Entente Cordial so this was uh, to celebrate 100 years since the uh, series of agreements that were signed between the French Republic and the UK on the 8th of April 1904 uh, to help uh, the Anglo-French relations. Now, I've got a mintage figure of 1,205,594 which were business strikes, so they were available from post offices and banks. But the Royal Mint gave it as a commemorative issue and it wasn't intended for circulation. There was also a BU version of 16,507 and a proof uh, which had a frosted reverse of 6,065. It also came in other varieties, silver proof, gold proof, platinum proof and uh, sil the silver pier fort. Uh, now this design was done by David Gentleman, who also did the 2007 abolition of the slave trade coin. And uh, the obverse has been done by Ian Rand Broadley. Oh, got shredded wheat on the back as well. <laughs> Never spotted that. So let's have a look at the coin. It looks like it's all uh, sealed up. There we go. I think there's a bit of toning on it. Um, so that might and that might actually clean up quite well actually. So Ian rang broadly. Now there is another coin that uh, I've noticed this seller is selling for uh, six pound fifty, um, another five pound coin. So again, I've got my eye on it, and we'll see what happens with that one. Um, but with the change checker thing I did get a I did get a scratch card and uh, it was just another 2017 50p card of um, I think it was it wasn't Jeremy Fisher I think it was Tom Kitten if I remember rightly but uh, I've already just put that in my spares I didn't want to bore you with uh, another scratch off details <laughs> right so uh, that's it for today. There's only a few coins to, to show today. And uh, until the next time, thank you for watching and keep on hunting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.